Her death at the tender age of just 27 shocked the music world, millions of fans and her beloved family. And more than six years on from the tragic death of Amy Winehouse, her father Mitch has claimed that his musical icon daughter is still very much a presence in his everyday life, with her ghost regularly visiting him in his Kent home. Mitch told the son that Amy's spirit comes and sits on the end of his bed and that he finds comfort in knowing his daughter is still with him. Scroll down for video revealing that the sightings intensify around the back to black hitmaker's birthday on September 14, he said. After three years I was thinking maybe that one day she will come back in some shape or form, and she does come back, not physically, but spiritually, all the time. Her spirit comes and sits on the end of my bed. She just sits there and it looks just like her with her beautiful face and she looks at me. I say to her, are you alright? Because I get nervous with her being there. But it is comforting in a way to know she is here and around me. Mitch also said he believes the Grammy Award winner visits him and wife Jane, taking the form of a black bird identical to the one Amy had tattooed on her arm. He said the week after Amy died a black bird flew into the glass at his sister's house, at night time when birds are nesting. He then said the bird came back and sat on his foot, with the bird later singing to him and that he now sees black birds everywhere, which he cannot explain. In the wake of his daughter's death Mitch founded the Amy Winehouse Foundation to support young people struggling with drug and alcohol misuse. Amy rose to fame with her first album, Frank, in 2003, but it was the arrival of her second album, Back to Black, in 2006, which catapulted the shy singer into her status as an international phenomenon. She won a then record five Grammys at the 2007 Annual Awards Ceremony including Best Pop Vocal Album for Back to Black and Song of the Year for Rehab. But her struggles with alcohol and drug addiction were to blight her career and she died on July 23, 2011, Camden, from alcohol poisoning after weeks of sobriety and then falling off the wagon. Pathology tests showed she had 416 mg of alcohol per deciliter in her blood, 350 mg is considered enough to be fatal. Her life, her rare singing talent, her struggle with alcohol and drug dependency, and her untimely death are set to be documented in a new West End musical. In October it was that her family are in talks to create a musical documenting the tragic singer's life. Speaking at the Amy Winehouse Foundation Gala in London, Mitch told The Sun, a musical celebrating her life and music is being talked about for the near future. It is something I'd really like to happen and I've said I'm happy for it to go ahead.
it would be for the West End. We want to do something that remembers Amy for what she was, there's so much more to her than just the drugs and the alcohol. He said the aim of the show would be to demonstrate how Amy created her music, focusing on her talent rather than on her struggle with drugs, which, he added, she had been clean from for three years before she died. Other aspects the tour is likely to cover include Amy's messy two-year marriage to Blake Fielder Civil, which was fraught with substance abuse and violent rows. The couple married in Florida in 2007 but they were divorced in September 2009. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.